You know what, Bill? <laughs> Honestly, I think Liam is lucky that you want nothing to do with him. He is way too good for you. I didn't ask to have a son, Hope. And if I did, he wouldn't be anything like your friend. No, oh, you're right. I suppose he'd be more like you. Actually, Liam and Bill have a lot in common. Bill spent most of his life without his father. Katie. OK, well, shouldn't that make you want to have a relationship with your own son? I've been trying to ask you that same question. If I had a son whom I had raised with my values and my sensibilities, I would feel differently. This kid, in my opinion, is damaged goods. Damaged goods? Let's just say he's nothing like I would want a son to be. Please tell me, what is so wrong with him? He's a hard worker who, who cares about people. But you know what, I'm, you're right, that, that makes him way too soft. He should really have your cutthroat ethics. He would never survive in the business world. Why? Because he's kind and, and compassionate and humane. There are several successful men who have those qualities. A lot more don't. I, I just, I can't believe that you would turn your back on your own son. You know, maybe if you were a serial killer, then yeah, maybe I would get that. But he is as sweet and caring as anyone I know. I just feel like any man would be proud to have him as a son. Yeah, I know I'm proud to have him as a friend. It's, it's just that the point here is that you're missing out. He's not some weak little wimp. Okay, he, he's someone that you can have faith in and I would trust him with my life. So go ahead, I don't care. Go back to your big fancy office and count your money and think of new ways to take over Forrester Creations. I don't care. But turning your back on your own son, I just have no respect.